In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a mock-up for a bag packaging like this. So here's the before, here's the after. And if you're a part of my Patreon, you could download this PSD. And once you download it, you could come in here and change the artwork like this. And it will be all set up for you. If you're not signed up for my Patreon, it's all right. I'm going to show you how to create it yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have a stock image of a blank bag like this. First thing you want to do is go ahead and zoom in. We're going to crop this out. Easiest way will be the pen tool. Shortcut for that is letter P. Or you go here, select the pen tool. Let me zoom in like this. I'm also going to bring up the navigator so I can see where I'm at. If you can't find this, just go to Windows and make sure Navigator is checked. Now let's go ahead and uh, crop this out. So I'm just make a point here, point there. Hold the space bar and drag it to the right. Point there, point there. And it's starting to curve down towards the end. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Make a point here and drag it down just a little bit. Before I let it go, I'm hold Alt, bring that in. Make a point there, point there. It's kind of like that. Point here, drag it down like this. Point here, drag it down. And I'm going to click Undo. I'm just going to get the, this part. I'm going to save the shadow right there. So kind of like that. Point there, drag it to the left. Point there. Drag it up like that. Point here. Before I let it go, I'm going to hold Alt and bring this in. Point here, drag that up. Point there. Point here, drag it up like that. Point there, there. And just go ahead and close it out. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm just going to right click, make selection, fair that zero, click OK. And I'm going to hit Control J to make a copy. Close that. And I'm going to group this. Name this main for the main artwork. Just go ahead and uh, save this. Just go ahead and save it on my desktop for now. All right, now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to name this artwork. That's where we're going to put the artwork. And I'm going to go here to the rectangular marquee tool. Shortcut will be letter M. And I'm just going to go top left. Drag it to till it covers all the packaging like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in with just like a gray. You know, any gray is fine. I'm going to click OK. Shortcut will be Alt Backspace, Control D to select. All right, now just uh, right click, convert to Smart Object. Now I'm just going to go to my bridge. And I'm going to go here, select these two. Or actually, just go in here first, double click in the Smart Object. Then I'll go here, drag and drop. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt, bring the size of it up, kind of like that. And I'm going to hold Shift, V for the selection tool, and I'm going to move it to the left, kind of like that. Save this. I'm just going to go ahead and close it, and it should update the artwork in here. Now I'm going to zoom in, 
And for now, I'm going to change the opacity so I can see the packaging behind it. Now I'm going to hit Control T. I'm going to right click and select Warp. And I'm bringing the bottom right corner to here, kind of like that. And this one, that's good. Bottom left corner to this. And then that's perfect. And then this one, kind of like that. This one, so it match up there. Maybe a little bit to the left. So it covers all that. That one right there, that one right there, this one, kind of like that, and this one, like that. So I'm going to hit enter, I'm going to save this, and we just bring the opacity back up. I'm going to save this for now. Now there's two things we need to do, create some shadow and then some highlights. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this above the artwork. But first, let's go ahead and select this. So hold control, select that. It will make a selection. And we'll go here to the main folder and click on the mask. And then it will mask everything inside the folder. Now for this one, let's make two copies. Name this shadow. Highlight, and we can create another one. This one's gonna be the top highlight up here. All right, now I'm just gonna disable that, and let's do the shadow first. So I'm gonna do Control L to bring up the levels, and I'll make it dark like that. So about 93. And this one, the highlight in the middle like that. Click OK. Change that to multiply. And as you can see, it's looking good already. Just with the uh, shadow. Now for the highlight, we're going to do Control L. But this time, we're going to bring this all the way to the right. To the middle right there. Click OK, and then we're going to change that to screen. So shadow, and then the highlight right there. Save this. And the reason why I made the top highlight is when we, say, double click the artwork, and we have a darker artwork like this. So let's save this, close this. As you can see, the highlight on this one is too much. So we want to bring this down. Kind of like 37. But then the top, we I want it to show more. So just a little bit more right there. You can see the texture there, the shadows there. But I want the highlight just to be a little bit more visible. So I'm just going to make a copy. And in this one, you don't really need that since we already just that. Just got to rename it. And select the mask. And I'm hit Control I to invert it to make it black. And I'm select B for brush. Make sure it's white. And I'm just paint that in kind of like that. So just give it the top a little bit more so you can see the uh, the texture on the packaging. So I'm going to double check the work. Shadow looks good. Highlight and an extra highlight there. And then everything's looking good. If, um, let me see, maybe I have to clean up some part down here. See like the, uh, the white right there. So I'm going to go here to the mask. This time I'm just do L for lasso. Make sure feathers at zero. And then I'm just uh select the rounded kind of like that. Double click and I'll fill it in with white. Make sure that's white. You just double click 
select the white hit alt backspace it'll fill it in Control d to select now we just do over here also alt backspace Control d to select all right everything's looking good so yeah that's how you create a um packaging for a bag like this and if you have any questions just leave it in the comments again thanks for watching